What's up guys? Welcome back to Everyday Money. First off, if you guys are watching this around December 25th, Merry Christmas to you guys out there. If you don't celebrate Christmas, Happy Holidays, or just have a nice uh, time off with your family, whatever you guys do, because I know that you guys are uh, worldwide, and that, that's pretty cool, honestly, that, that I can film here from my basement in Kentucky, and I can reach a worldwide audience, and I think that that's really neat. So if you guys uh, are not from you know the United States, even if you are, leave where, you, where your state is, but if you guys from are, are from around the world, comment down below on where you are viewing me from because I just I like seeing those types of things but uh, before you do that be sure to hit the like button uh, because today we're going to talk about the one of the two cryptos or two of the cryptos that we follow on this channel the uh, Shiba Inu token and Doge Elon Mars and before you guys comment about how I'm pronouncing Doge Elon Mars I did a poll on that 75% said Doge Elon Mars was the winner that's the one I'm going with because I've been corrected whether I say Doge Elon Mars or Dog Elon Mars or something else so we're going with those Elon Mars on this channel. So this morning I wake up and I get into my crypto.com wallet to check it just like I'm sure every one of you guys out there do to see if anything's going on and I started scrolling through the reddits and I, I saw two things. Uh, I saw that the uh, Shiba Inu token had uh, had a change in its circulating supply, and I saw that Doge Elon Mars was uh, headed uh, to to the moon or to Mars or wherever it is going to first. And so let's get into the uh, Shiba Inu token circulating supply because this is something that we have been struggling with now for the last couple of months. We've had three different circulating supply numbers uh, in the last few months. We have had. 395 trillion tokens, we have had 550 trillion tokens, and we had 369 trillion tokens for a brief period of time this morning. A lot of folks thought that they were re-updating the, 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 um, the circulating supply because if you guys remember, when we had our big run up uh, a little bit ago to 4088 in the Shiba Inu token, that was when all the exchanges crashed. There was so much activity that crashed everything. And when things came back online, we were uh, greeted with a new circulating supply of 550 trillion tokens versus the original 395 trillion tokens. And now I put out a video that, that said that, that talked about that, and I had spoken about how I thought that 550 was probably the accurate number because when, remember when this was first started, they made a hundred or one tr a quadrillion tokens. They split that in two. 550 trillion go to Vitalik Buterin. 550 go to Uniswap uh, liquidity pool. Uh, Vitalik burned 40% of those. The other 10% he gave to the India COVID relief uh, people. Though they, they were getting beat up by COVID over there. So that is. 50 trillion tokens plus the 500 trillion tokens that were originally uh, minted, locked in the liquidity pool, put them together, 550 trillion tokens minus some minute burns that people have done over the uh, you know the course of this being around. So you know a lot of people said that that, that that wasn't the case, but this morning, let me get the screen record going for you here. This morning we dropped down to 369 trillion tokens for a brief period of time, and I am uh, remiss that I didn't take a screenshot of that, but I didn't. Um, but back on CoinMarketCap.com, and I've checked this on uh, Crypto.com, I've checked this on Coinbase, they're all saying the same thing again: a 500, approximately 50 trillion uh, circulating supply tokens. So, we, but you can see this in the chart here. We go from about a 20 billion dollar market cap, you know, 19-ish, and then right at about 7 a.m we have that, that transition to 369 uh, trillion tokens. And that craters the market cap. And that's not really a big deal, really, because uh, the market cap is just based on the amount of tokens circulation times of price. So obviously, if you take the amount of tokens down quickly in a quick fashion, uh, the market cap's gonna come down as well, down here to 13.5-ish uh, billion dollars. And then it, it goes on that way until about 10 a.m. There's two ways to look at this, really, because I, I was looking at this, I was like, wow, this is going to make the price go up because there are less tokens in circulation. Even if even if it's just an, an accounting trick or a computer thing, the price is probably going to go up. But the one thing that I can say about this is that this is an extremely bad look for three different things. For all the exchanges that they cannot get this circulating supply issue dealt with, and figured out uh, it's a bad look for them. It's a bad look on Shiba Inu token and the developers because again, they cannot get the circulating supply issue worked out and figured out. And three, it is a bad look for cryptocurrency altogether because this is the time right now that cryptocurrency has to uh, get a, a legitimacy about it to uh, be um, 
accepted. You know, younger folks like 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 myself, I still sort of consider myself a younger folks, and a lot of other people it's, think the cryptocurrency is uh, you know legit. It's a it's a good thing, but stuff like this where they can't even get the circulating supply right puts a big black eye on the entire industry, on the entire market as being just wishy washy. They change the rules whenever they want. Uh, even the exchange is crashing regularly. It, that is just not a great look for, for uh, cryptocurrency altogether. The Shiba Inu has 1,385,314 people on its uh, that are just have it on watch list. So that if, if they were looking at this today, they saw this go up, down, crazy, and it's, it's not a great look for anyone involved. So we're gonna have to watch this, see if that is uh, something that they were testing out, see if they can get the developers and the uh, exchanges all in the same room, all in the same conference call, or on the same Zoom meeting, and get this circulating supply worked out so that we can stop this madness with it just fluctuating wildly. Now, so now that we've gotten through that and through the Shiba Inu token, um, and and actually I should uh, mention as well that if if this had gone down to the 369 trillion tokens, it would have been much easier for us to reach that 0 0.301 price target that I put on this uh, so far ago, because you'd only need 36.9 billion dollars of uh, market cap to make that happen. When it was 395 trillion tokens, again 39.5 billion dollars market cap, I think that's very doable. At 550 trillion tokens, it gets much harder to get to three zeros one because you're going to need 55 billion dollars of market cap, which is almost twice what um, what it, of either the 395 or the uh, 369. And so, uh, if it was reduced 369, that would be very bullish for the price. Um, and that we'll just have to see where that goes because they need to get that locked down. Now on to Doge Elon Mars. I wanted to take a look at this because this is another one that I've been following, I've been trading in that I think has upside potential of 1000%. Uh, it can 10X, you know, et cetera. So I'm gonna get the uh, screen recording going again for you guys. And we will take a look at the charts on this. Now when I woke up, um, I'm not sure if this was going uh, off the charts yet. It's not really off the charts, but it's a, it has a pretty solid uh, increase in it this morning of over 20%. Let me get on my uh, crypto.com app here. And so we are up 22.85% uh, in Doge Elon Mars this morning. This is a pretty significant breakout because, uh, you know, as you may have remembered, if you if you have seen this or if you haven't uh, been following this token, uh, this is one that it, that had come up about 2,000% here. It had peaked around uh, the end of October, going into November, and has just kind of slid uh, sideways and down for the uh, for the remaining time. So to be up. 22.85% today is pretty good. We're sitting at uh, 5017. I put a price target on this one of 509 uh, a, a few months ago uh, because I thought that if it could get to 1 billion, it could get to 5 billion in market cap. And so that would put uh, it at 509 if it could get up to $5 billion in market cap. Now, the issue with those Elon Mars is that, especially on things like coin or, or, or uh, crypto.com, they are not listing it on their hot stocks, the top, the top gainers, the top, not stocks, but the top crypto. And I think that that's disingenuous to this token because right now it should be number one on the top gainers as far as what I can see. Right now that is SushiSwap, it's up 21.66%. Doge Elon Mars is up 22.85% and it should be listed there because that gets it attention. It's gonna get more money coming into this because people are gonna see it, say this thing is going to places and will allow it to increase in value. Right now, if you're not into this, you don't know about it, it is buried down in the list somewhere down around 100 as far as the, the tokens that are being tracked. And so I don't know why it is not on the crypto.com uh, top gainers list, but I suspect that it has something to do with the amount of uh, trading liquidity that they have in, in the uh, limits that they have on buying and selling as weekly limits. But they need to get that worked out because I do think this could be another coin like the Shiba Inu token that has uh, 1000 percent uh, gains, 2000 percent still in the tank. Uh, there's no reason why not. So that needs to be on their top gainers chart. So guys, that's where I'm gonna leave it here today. Shiba is, is all over the place with its uh, with its circulating supply and that's not really a great thing. Doji La Mars looks to be on a trip, uh, at least in the direction of Mars, and we will see where that ends up. But again, on the uh, crypto.com stuff, it is not, uh, it, it's not on the top gainer, so I think that's, uh, that's not a great thing for it. 
Guys, if you like this, be sure to hit that thumbs up button for me. That really helps me out in the YouTube algorithm, keeps this video moving, keeps this channel alive. If you haven't subscribed yet, subscribe down below, hit the notification bell so you don't miss anything that I put out on cryptocurrency, stocks, real estate, or anything about financial freedom. I appreciate you guys watching today, and I'll see you in the next one.